What's up fam? It's Professor T and we are back with some more reacted to some undiscovered musicians and this is continuing Friends and Family Week. Hey. Woo we got somebody here that I saved for Friday. A very special friend of mine because she's been with me from the beginning of Professor T before I even was Professor T from the T-Bird days. The Rockwell Records days, the Rock Rack days. This is Miss Lanai Weatherspoon, frequent collaborator, good friend of mine, and I'm happy to uh, see if she's doing well. See, if she's a, a mom now. You know, she's moved on to bigger and better things now. I'm at watching her grow up, unlike me. <laughs> well, hey, man. Some people might disagree with that. I disagree with that. You know, I, I think I've done grown up a lot. I'm, I've become a man in the past year and stuff that I've done weathered. So, right now we're checking out a song from Lanai. This is called Walked in the Club. I had forgot that I was on this until I, I listened to this. Because, as I had mentioned earlier in the week's uploads, there were some technical difficulties. So, I had to redo all of these videos. So, um, on this one, same story. I already have reacted to it, but this is going to be a redo. So it's going to be cool. So I'm going to have a cooler head and I'm going to be able to give some more insight to it. Now for this one here, let's just get right into it without any further ado. Walked in the club. We trust to Francis and me. Oh yeah, we got to dim the lights now. We got to get the glow sticks ready. I, got, I almost forgot. Walked up in the club. Boy, what's going on? Used to find it on. That's the Francis right there for the intro. <laughs> My head cut off from the camera, that's all right. You can see the t-shirt though, right? Yo, see, I was ready for this. This is the rave right here. Let me sit down so you can hear me on the mic. That's so why I don't get It's like 9.30 at night. I don't try to get cussed out. <laughs> Neighbors be like, yo, what you doing up there? Shut up. It's 9.30. So I drop my voice. The rapping. Oh, shoot, the double? We doubling? That's what we was doing back then. The little key part came out in the background. Just the hook right here. Bars. Has some actual energy in her rapping though too. Plus her voice sounds good like on tracks too. See, I, the first time I was laughing so hard because I forgot that I was on this song. This is my rapping right here. I did this all in one take. I was hoping we could talk for a second if you're down because it isn't that often that I come around. I know this isn't love, this is only infatuation. Maybe entertainment and maybe it's devastation. Maybe demolition of all of my superstition. I'm so ashamed that I can't be blamed because I'm too conceited and I'm too vain. You were just That's a fan of my too. game. They do a whole lot of talking. Beat switch but guess what? I'm not listening so they should stop walking. I got a bad habit because every single thing I see, I just got to have it. In my imagination, so wild. Every time I see you make the crowd go wild. Or you make the crowd go wild. That part was fire right there, though. That verse. I said, I gotta give it to myself on the verse. That was pretty fast, and I, I was able to get all those words in. <laughs> Professor T, the new school Eminem, maybe. This part right here, I think, was in French. If I remember, I don't know what she was saying.
She was ad libbing on that part though, but it sounded good. This outro though was great though. I mean, if you. That's the way that you do an outro. Like everybody else that submits a song to me, that's the way that you do the outro. Okay? Let me get the light back on. I got a little excited on this one. I took it back. <laughs> I might have got carried away. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm not going to get cussed out. <laughs> Like I said, this is nighttime at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in an apartment now upstairs. I'm not trying to get cussed out and die up here doing the two step. It'll be like, what are you doing? So, my reactions to that song, you guys already know. I'm biased because I was on it. But yeah, this was a great song. It was a lot of fun, a lot of good energy, a lot of good. Um, the rapping was really good. The singing sounded good. Everything went together really well. It was really fun. I enjoy listening to this again. This is always a trip down memory lane right here. Back in 20, this is from 2016. That's already been five years ago almost. A few months coming up, that'll be five years from when this was made. So that's pretty crazy. So critiques, let me give some critiques. I got to be kind of easy in the critiques here. You know, I always, like I said, this is an educational channel. So, you know, when I do critiques, it's not because I'm trying to pick at somebody is because this is like a learning opportunity for somebody to um hear critiques from somebody that does this so for this like i said i can't i'm not you know this is not an indictment on lanai or even me at the time because this was five years ago but uh for me she was actually i think for i remember when we were making this she was kind of just learning how to get with the production part because she was, uh, for what I remember, she was doing the lyricism. So she was learning like the production part, which was kind of cool. That was dope. And um, I was going to say with that, I like the fact that this song, it went somewhere. Like it definitely changed and evolved over time. Um, the only thing I w that I was going to say that was my critique for it the first time around was that it does meander just a little bit as far as like the form of it so the reason i say that too is because like with the hook that we got to dance 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 all night you know we could have i didn't think of it at the time i wish i would have at the time when i had heard this and i uh, came in and i did a rap verse on it that is the only part that's the only hand that i had in this okay i may have mastered it for her but that's about it like i i did the rap verse i showed up and i was the hype man basically and then i left and then the rest of this was all her. So even though it has me on it, know that the production, that was not me. I cannot take any credit for any of that. So yeah, the production was great. But that's the only thing that I would say Like is a small critique from the production. I felt like uh, we probably could have done more of the hook. And at the time, you know, I wish I would have thought of it. Because I would have suggested at the time if I thought of it that we should have made more of that hook. Because that would have actually been pretty fun. Have like a different section of the song just for the dance, dance, dance all night. And then go to that. The outro, like I said, was amazing. So like as far as the song evolving and going somewhere, it did. The outro just was... That's that's the way that you do an outro, okay? Let's not even play. Let's not, what we're not going to do is act like that wasn't the best outro. Um, as far as Professor T, Billboard chart. The vocal performances, I felt like everybody was good. Everybody had good energy. Uh, my rapping, it could have been improved, obviously, um, because that was five years ago. That was before I really had been studying this stuff like I do now. But it, because it was so fast with my rapping, it was kind of tough for me to really be get be as accurate as I could have been. So it definitely could have been a little bit more accurate for my rapping part. Lanai's rapping sounded great. She was very accurate. She just is somebody that's naturally talented at rapping. So, like, do not stop doing your music because you, you have talent. That's something that not everybody can say. So keep that going. That plus, you just naturally have a pleasing sounding voice on the track. You don't, you don't like me with a speech impediment where I stutter and my voice is nasally and annoying. And my tongue doesn't touch the edges of my mouth when I talk. So it sounds like I'm speaking in cursive. You sound good. So, like, absolutely, we need to uh, link up again and do another collab in the near future. So, for this one, now we're going to cut it over to past Professor T for the first time that we recorded this. 
and uh, we're gonna see how this ranks on the Professor T billboard charts. Where does this rank? So let's bring it over. And then hold on, my my touch screen is messing up down here. My touch pad. All right. Just spell your dang name, right? Okay. So right here. This one is going to be pretty high now. I don't think, I think you're going to be pretty good on this one. So where do you rank? Out of 19 tracks thus far. I'm still like you more today. We got to keep going, keep going, keep going. You know what? I think you're going to crack the top 10. You cracking the top 10, girlfriend. Okay. So you can get it number 10 for today. You don't, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good ranking. That's in the top half. So you just displaced J.A. Wild Trip. You just knocked him out of the top 10. Just below Vogue Kills and Jason Alessi Walk the Line. That kind of rap, trap, metal type song. I like that song a little bit better than this just because as people know, I like the more aggressive and I like the more fast upbeat song so this ranked high because it was fast and upbeat and it ranked about J A wild trip because i i like the energy of this it's very that's some good energy to it so that's where this rank so to lanai to st francis to myself and to all of you watching at home i love what you do i enjoyed listening to this and i hope that all you did too and i wish nothing but peace and love to all of you and i'll see you in the next one